Good morning people, welcome back to the grumpy old git in the corner. A little bit more lively today. Had a good night's sleep. Well, for me, anyway. <laughs> uh, nice to see the subs still growing. We're only two off uh, 360 now, I think. Um, it seems that YouTube takes one off every time someone else comes on, but hey, that's something we got to put up with. I know there's way more than that out there. But anyway, let's get into today then, shall we? <coughs> Looking back on a couple of things. Well, we watched um, Mark Rowley, the head of the Met, getting a grilling from the select committee yesterday. Um, as always with police things, um, I'll leave it up to Papit, police abusing powers, to give you the bigger picture in this. I dare say he will cover it. It is police corruption after all. And uh, he, he has ways, means and contacts of finding out a lot more information than I can. I just go on what I see. But, um, yeah, the, the more they look, the more they're going to find. And that's exactly how he put it. You know, with all the extra powers that have been given him by the government, for the police, you know, you'd think they'd give him the power to sort this out. I mean, they can give him any amount of power at this because it doesn't affect us, the public, other than taking the assholes off the streets that need to be gone. But he said uh, they're looking into uh, over a thousand um, reports or whatever. Um, once they're found guilty, what's going to happen then if they end up in court? He reckons there's going to be two, three of them in court a week. Well, personally, if you've got that many, I reckon you should have two or three in court a fucking day, mate. But, we're, again, we're going to have to wait and see how long it takes them to produce this. Obviously, there's a lot are going to be thrown under the bus. Um, it's, it's just like a big PR exercise. They've been caught out, so they've got to be seen to be doing something. But it's all right, because he said sorry again. Falls on deaf ears to me now, that, from the police, at any level. As soon as I say the word sorry. Right, now, going back to what I talked about yesterday, um, the illegal incoming passengers, as we now call them, Incoming or legal arriving passengers, isn't it? And as I said yesterday, how many hotels over the country are being exposed as being full of these people? Um, you know, I gave her a lovely mention yesterday. Thanks for the comment, um, Yorkshire Rose. Uh, she's exposed in all this, along with English for the English, England for the English. Um, but then. We see yesterday this court case of the Afghan refugee who came here, passed himself off as a 14-year-old boy, although he was in his 20s, already convicted of two murders in Serbia, I believe it was, and he was free to walk our streets and kill again. Now, these are the sort of events that we've warned were going to happen, that have happened, that are going to keep happening. And the more that are coming, the more it's going to happen. And the government do absolutely naffle. Now, he got sent down yesterday, um, 29 and a half years or something, for his crime. Yeah, well, that's 29 years of bed and board at our expense, isn't it? Surely it would have been cheaper to ship him out, send him back to Afghanistan where he came from, or even hand him over to the Serbs if he's a double murderer there. Um, apparently he was a drug dealer as well. Um, he was convicted in Italy of drug dealing. <laughs> 
Yeah, it just shows you literally that, that our borders have failed. Anybody can just walk in. And I can see a lot more of these occurrences going to happen in the future with the way it's going and the amount that are coming in. Um, there was a few hundred came again the other day. <coughs> They're not stopping. And the government aren't stopping them. But it looks now, when you look about the energy crisis has gone away, is it? The food prices have dropped to normal. You, you'd think so, because there's nobody talking about it now. Or is it the fact that people have just given up and accepting what's happening? You know, even the NHS have been quite quiet in the media lately. Except for the odd meeting, which gets them nowhere with the government. The government are just stalling it again. But then we get on to the Ukraine. Oh my god. I mean, just how much money are we expected to waste there? Now they've got all these new tanks coming from Germany and the countries that Germany supplied, but Germany had to give them permission, which they now give them. But Biden, <laughs> yep, we're going to send them 31, I think it was, of our newest tanks, the Abrams. Why the hell, in a world that's professing to be in an energy crisis, fuel shortage, why would you send a fucking tank that does less than a mile to the gallon? I mean, them Abrams, they've got jet turbine engines in them. They're, they're jet engines. <laughs> Why would you send something with that sort of fuel consumption? And the best laugh is the bloody things won't get there and won't be usable until March. Because of the training period, the transportation, the supply lines. Obviously, there's going to be a two or three tanker trucks behind every one to keep it supplied with fuel. Especially if they're going to march all the way to Russia. <laughs> but, as I've always said, my belief is they're just going to keep this going as long as they can. Because it fits their agenda and it's something to blame everything that they've created on. Plain and simple, as far as I'm concerned. But, anyway, I'm going to leave it there for today. I have got me chores to do today. Um, I've been slacking while I've been feeling too tired. <laughs> Even the cat don't help. Uh, yeah, I may pop up with a live to my, um, later on this afternoon. Um, depending now on how I feel, so watch out for that. I'm not going to do any evening ones. I did the one. But uh, most of the evening slots now for the viewers that come between several channels that I follow and am involved in, um, the, the evening slots are all gone, aren't they? So I'll go back to doing my afternoon ones when I feel like it. So for those of you that are at home all afternoon today, um, keep your eye out around 2 or past 2. If, if I feel up to it, I might drop in with a live for a couple of hours before the missus gets home. But until then, as always, thank you for your support. My respects to each and every one of you for that support. And welcome to the newcomers. And as I say, always, stay safe. Stay strong. And keep your eye on what these lot are doing in the background. Because I'm not seeing a lot. Although today I am going to watch a lot of the house because there's some important stuff coming up. Take care, people.